Hello and welcome to an Not So Awesome Review. Today we're looking at the Pacific Rim Uprising High Grade Gypsy Adventure Model Kit by Bandai. And that is a mouthful to say, I'm not gonna lie, I've messed it up a few times here. But yeah, so really quick, getting into the contents of the box. Context, that's not the right word, contents of the box. We have four sprues. So, you know, fairly simple model kit. It is a high grade, nothing too complicated, no inner skeleton or anything does come with some water slide decals, which I have not put on mine yet, mostly because I'm planning on painting them in the future once the weather warms up and I can actually use anything of spray paint. But uh, yeah, besides that, comes with technically three to, let's say three and a half uh, accessories, just because one of them is just the hand. But yeah, he comes with his chain sword. As you can see, I already have that attached to him right there. Comes with an open palm. Well, open palm right there. Let's see if I can focus that up so you guys can see. And I gotta say, the detail on it, it is really nice just on the hand itself. So, that's cool. Uh, this is the just alternate piece for his hand. So you can not have the sword attached, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. He has his gravity sling right here. And I will say that this bottom part does like to fall off really easily um might be something to glue in might not it's up to you i i might glue it i don't know probably will just saying but yeah these uh just slide in you basically take the bottom half of the arm off put that in and we have his plasma caster right here which again the detail on it is nice and all just need some paint and it'll look amazing and uh yeah so getting into really quick how to exchange his arms, I'll just put his regular arm back on here. You just hold on to the shoulder, elbow area, pull his arm down, take basically the whole thing off. Take the fist off because we don't need it. Uh, you can see really quick if you guys want to check out the sword. It looks nice. You know, nothing to complain there. And what we're going to do here is put this piece back on to his hand, his hand, hand, words, and uh, we have his fist here, just pop his fist back in, and there you have him, basically just regular, you know, mode, whatever you want to call it, and uh, yeah, so you can do that with all the other hands, it's just as simple as grabbing him kind of yeah gotta force it a little bit there we go and then we can just attach this by uh the little peg system that's got going on there and it works really easily it works really good it looks good nothing to complain there aside from that falling off so for the sake of the review i'm just gonna take these off and there will be pictures at the end you know like usual with uh different weapons on poses and stuff so you guys can check that out and see how he looks like with everything on him but yeah, so getting on to the review of the figure itself, I will say for small, putting them together, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. If you put a Gundam together, if you put a figureized figure together, well, let's just go with Gundam. If you put a Gundam together, fairly simple build, you shouldn't be lost in it at all. You know, it, it's it's really an easy model kit. Um, you know, it, it took me about, I want to say an hour to do. Um... Yeah, it, it's it's nice. I like it. It is lightweight for anybody who's never done a model kit. It is going to feel lightweight. And to you, it might feel cheap because of that. But that's kind of the nature of model kits. They're usually not heavy things because well, a lot of times they're more hollow plastic than anything, especially high grades. But they still look really good, especially when you're layering parts on top of other parts that are separate. It does kind of help bring out detail and make things look a lot nicer, at least in my opinion it does. Uh, this is the version that did not come with the LED unit for the chest piece. There is a version that you can get with that. And you can just buy the LED piece separately. But to attach that, you would basically detach his back. Well, let's take these off. You would detach. If I can do this on camera. There we go. Detach his back. Put the LED unit in there. Flip it on. And uh, this would light up. Kind of. Looks like it's lit up because of the lights, so, you know, that's kind of the illusion of the effect you'll get with that. Obviously, once I put this back on, 
that illusion will go away. But you guys, you guys saw what it looks like, and it looks nice. I'm not gonna lie. Something that the other version of this doesn't uh, do, which is the what is it? Robot. I don't. I don't know what name. What the actual name of that series is? Robot. The, is it Robot Daisaiju or something? It's not Robot Spirits because that's that's a different company, right? Um. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but it's basically a figure arts. Basically, the robot versions of figure arts go under that name. And, you know, surprisingly enough, those are actually available in local stores like GameStop. I've seen one at Barnes & Noble. And in Toys R Us, you know, while it lasts, they have those figures. So, you know, you have your options. If you're not a model kit person, if you don't feel comfortable putting one together, you can just get one of those. It's actually about $5 cheaper than this guy's uh, retail price, which is about 25 bucks, depending on where you shop around. Um, the actual figure version of him is 20 bucks, but everybody else, for some reason, is 30. I, I don't know why, but that, that is a thing that's going on there. So, detail-wise, you know, obviously the mold and everything looks really nice. And I say obviously because, uh, you know, detail-wise is kind of how you interpret your own figure. Once you put it together, if you're going to paint it, if you're going to rough it up going to add any detail if you're going to put on the water slide it's going to look different you know varied by person by person if you're not going to do anything like that this is basically what you're going to get out of the box and it doesn't look bad at all the color is really pretty accurate to what you see in the movie and the trailers and everything you know it looks like the gypsy avenger and that's basically the important thing uh, model kits like i said before you know you can make it your own, make it look as nice as you want, paint it up, customize it, make it have different colors. It's really up to you. But like I said, mold-wise, it is good. The detail is there. It looks really nice, and I'm I'm happy with it. I'm not going to lie. I do really like it. Um, fun build. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the articulation, which his head is unbelievably limited. He can't really look up, can't really look down, can't really look side to side either because, well... The armor plate here gets in the way, so there's that, but he does have a pivot, so I guess there is something. His arm just popped off, which, you know, happens. It's a model kit. Not a big deal. And there it pops off from there. So his arm can only go about that high without, you know, coming off his body, which isn't that great, to be honest. It's, it's all right, but I kind of expected that because of the way that his armor and everything is built. He does have double jointed elbows, which do really, really good. I, I do like that. He does have the upper bicep rotation, and he does have a rotation at the wrist and a hinge kind of movement. It's a ball peg, so it's not an actual hinge, but, you know, it moves side to side. I do wish that they added a rotation or swivel or something down here at his lower arm, just so we could get a few more poses, like with his sword kind of and everything just the other way around. I think that would have looked really good, but um, fortunately that's not a thing they did with this. He does have upper diaphragm mo rotation, you know, mode rotation, rotation, movement. Can lean forward from there a little bit, lean back a little bit, lean side to side a little bit. Not too much, but he does have another one down here at the bottom, which gives him more range to go back a little bit more, lean forward a little bit more. And even rotate side to side a lot more, actually. So, there's that. He can kick forward basically as much as you want all the way around if you really want. And it goes straight, in case you're wondering. So that is a bonus right there. He can kick out about that much. Double joining the knees that do unbelievably good. His foot moves up. Kind of moves back. Pops off. And does have ankle pivot, which I think works really good. So overall, you know, it, it's not, you know, the most fancy. It's not something you're going to get from, like, a master grade movement or anything like that. And like I said, I, I'm not, I don't have the uh, robot. Is it robot spirits? I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to know the name. Someone's going to correct me. Probably, maybe. We'll see. But, you know, I don't know how the movement on that figure works. I don't know because I don't have it. If I get it, I will do a comparison. But for what this model kit is, for the price point, it's not bad. Now, obviously, if you don't want to put a model get together, something like that, you know, 
then by all means, definitely pick up the other figure. Why not? I mean, the basic bonus here is the fact that you can ba you can paint him up, make him look as nice as you want. Though, for the price point, you can technically do that to the action figure. Uh, the main difference here really is going to come down to, do you want to build it? Do you think the mold and the body looks better? And do you want to be able to light up his chest? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. And like I said, if I get the figure, I will do a comparison review. But anyways, let's get on to some comparisons with other figures. So here's Gypsy Avenger standing next to an RX-78 revived version. And he definitely is a lot taller than him. Uh, of course, the older Gundam's style, I should say, were a lot shorter. There's going to be definitely Gundams that are taller than him, shorter than him, in the same high grade scale. So fits in weight your Gundams. Pretty good. None to complain there. For those of you curious about his height compared to a Marvel Legends, just to see the, you know, range of how big he is in perspective, there he is next to the Infinity War Iron Man. You can see he's definitely a lot shorter, a lot skinnier, definitely not around the same size at all. So, in case you guys wanted to see a comparison of size-wise, side-by-side, there you go. And just for the heck of it, here he is right next to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord build figure. I don't have the mini plug. I do want the mini plug. I don't know the size of the mini plug compared to this, but I'm hoping to get it. I don't know. I might get it. I, I just, I don't know. Should I get it? Probably. I don't know. But you can see here that the Megazord definitely towers over him. Megazord's closer to, I, I don't almost say Master Grade scale compared to this guy, but Master Grades are definitely a little bit taller than that. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's, it's about seven inches. So in case you're wondering there. You go. They don't really scale all that well, but I mean, you could fudge it if you really wanted these two guys next to each other. I don't know why, but I mean, if you really wanted to, there you go. So overall, I am happy with this build. I think the detail on it is nice. The accessories on it are, you know, just exactly what you need. There's really nothing more that you can ask for here. The option to have the light up chest makes it, a, you know, an awesome deal right there. Although. Mine didn't come with the LED. Uh, those things don't cost too much online, so I'll probably pick one up eventually. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my review for the Gym C Avenger. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that cool stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.